What do my pie peoples? Beeps here, back for another video. Now, um, I was talking to my friend the other day about um, something that's been troubling her. And it appears that the male species don't really know what they're doing when it comes to the bedroom. So I'm here to do this video to help you guys pleasure your woman. I gather some notes from the conversation. And as you can see here, it's typed up on two pages. So you know, shit is about to get real. easier for you I'll split this up into four sections they are pre-sex touching the vagina the sex and post-sex now pre-sex can happen anytime really I mean it can come from years in preparation or the day before or a couple seconds before you have sex now what you need to do is you need to evaluate your surroundings you need to decide what sort of sex you are having because not all sex is the same I mean you have like sex which is sex love making which is more like all bodies intertwined and it's spiritual and shit. And then you have fucking. Now, fucking is usually, you know, you might have been teasing each other the whole day and it's like, yeah, when we get home, it's about to go down. If you have to, if you're in a situation where you have to decipher what you're doing, it's not fucking. So this means you can't just rush into it. You can't just be like, okay, whip it out, rubber, no doubt. You know what I mean? You need to take your time and, you know, it's usually going to be sex. So, you know, treat it like sex. Don't just treat it like it's a quick fuck and then keep it moving. No, babes, keep it easy. I understand that sometimes when you have sex, you don't have time to like shower and shit because you're just in the heat of the moment. But when possible, you need to shower in it because she doesn't want her, your must or because, you know, when you're engaging in activities, you're even working up more sweat. So the sweat that's already there accumulates with the sweat that you're freshly producing. So please shower. What you also need to do is you need to stay in your lane. You need to know what ability level you are at. You may think that you're some top-notch don, when in reality you are a beginner. Don't lie to yourself because you will be look standing there like a mug when she's there thinking, so you told me that you could beat the pussy up when in reality you didn't even tap it. Don't gas your things. If anything, you should play it down. If she's been there thinking, oh, this guy probably doesn't even know what he's doing. Well, let's see what he's got in store. And you're just there like, beat the pussy up, beat the pussy up. Yeah, she's going to be like, god damn. <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah, play it down. Play it court. Cool, just be like, we'll see in it. Don't go straight in for the kill, yeah? The vagina, if she's down, yeah, she's not going nowhere. Don't go straight there. There's other, there's other parts of the body too, yeah? If she has like a spot that you really like, and actually that will just get the get her going you know it could be like thighs or the booty cheeks boobs back you know lower stomach you know those sort of regions don't just go in there and think okay if i touch this part right here that will get the things wet and i can just go in no babes you need to take it easy yeah because if you keep using that each time it's not going to work every now and again or you can do, even use that yeah when you're not going to have sex because it's a tease and it? it's like ha 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 you wanna fuck but i'm not gonna fuck you one thing you need to know is that when you're getting into sexual things you need to turn all your vocal tones down to a whisper yeah because if you want her to suck the things you can't just like suck the things in it you get me blood but if you're just like yeah i want you to suck it babes doesn't that just sound a bit more like yeah i might just suck it when you're like you know the foreplay and stuff what you need to learn is that touching the, the breasts, right? They're not like stress balls. You can't just be like, no, babes. Gentle, caress, yeah? Touch. Because it hurts, yeah? So don't be just trying to, don't squeeze the things. No, you need to be gentle with it. If you squeeze it hard, there's not going to be no sweeties or gumballs popping out. No. So why are you squeezing it for? If somebody was today or crushing your testicles, go like that to your testicles, same equivalency, you wouldn't like it. So learn breasts, not stress balls. And when you touch, yeah, you need to learn fingertips, yeah? Think this bit of your hand should not touch her body at all. Not a drop. Fingertips, yeah? The maximum, you can get a little bit of a palm knuckle. That's it. But this this bit should not touch you correct. This, this is how you should touch. She shouldn't even feel like you're touching her. She, she should imagine that you're, is she is he touching me do you know what i mean she should be thinking that what you need to do is also you need to read her body language as well because reading her body language will tell you what to do what she likes and what she doesn't like um one thing that i need to give to females as a little side note is don't fake anything because you will not be doing yourself any favors because he will just continue to do all the things you don't like yeah so if you if him touching your earlobes you don't like that don't be like all moaning in his ear when he's touching your earlobes no because he thinks that you like it now 
but you don't. And now, now we've got over the, the sort of pre-sex, but we're going into like, this is like before things have got like really sexual, like genitalia involved. What I want to let you know is that foreplay is imperative. You can't just, you shouldn't, you shouldn't just rush into it. I'm not saying you can't, but you shouldn't. To pleasure your woman, you should not rush into sex, yeah? Because one thing you need to realise is that women are less likely to orgasmate from penetration right you need to remember that so all this foreplay and all of that will get her going now we're going to move on to the touching of the vagina part right now this is important so take note listen yeah pre-sex was very important too this is also just as important so listen one thing you need to remember is that women need to get some dignity too when you're going into the downstairs region right what you need to do is you need to take her clothes off, right? At least, at least take her, you know, take the bottom half off. Nobody's asking for you to take her top off, but at least the bottom half. Because this taking one trouser leg out, shifting the panty them to the side, babes, you're not vibes cartel. She should have some dignity. Let her take her clothes off. Do you know what I mean? You know, what's the rush? Because, you know, next thing you know, you push, you push the panty them to the side. You're in a rush. You don't do it properly, yeah? You're trying to be in there with, with your things now. And you're getting friction burn from her underwear. Now And now you've got, you've got a graze on your on your things and that's not paying is it no so be easy and when you go there if she's not you know if the pre-sex has not you know lubricated her things <laughs> this video yeah cool i don't know what you need to do i don't know you need to include your own do you know what i mean i don't know get some saliva get a, get a bit some durex play i don't know if it's dry touching friction burn yeah no you need to be gentle. Don't be just shoving your fist into her vagine, babes. You need to be easy. You need to do a one finger t dip, you know. Don't assume that just because she likes dick that she wants lots of fingers. Do you understand? Because a finger obviously does not feel like a penis. Because I'm, you know what I mean? It's common sense. One thing that you shouldn't do is to force talking dirty. Because if you're there like, do you like that, babes? You get me? You don't need to say that because if she liked it, you would know about it, yeah? This point that I'm about to make my right here will change your sex life completely. If you make her orgasmic prior to having sex, that is a good thing. Because as I stated earlier, not all w women can orgasmate from penetration. So if you if she's already, you know, orgasmated, you can, she can now focus on you. You know what I mean? Returning the favour. Because she's got hers, now it's time for you to get yours. That's fair, right? Now, if she's, if you've done the things well, I don't know what you've done, fingered a little bit of oral, I don't know, nobody, see, nobody wants to boat out these days, but whatever floats your boat, yeah? Whatever you two do to get her off, she will then go to you, yeah? So, she will now lick the tip, maybe, as a reward. Now, if she does decide that she would like to return the favour to you by licking the tip, or further, you know, going in. What you need to realise is that she is then doing you a favour, right? She can choke on your penis. So don't be trying to ram her neck on your cock because you're not bashy, yeah? This is not the kiddohood to adulthood track, yeah? She could choke and die or throw up, yeah? She could gag and throw up on your penis. And would you like that? No, you would not. So, you know, let her do, let her take what she can handle into her mouth. We are getting on to the sex. Now, listen, yeah, tip number one, don't be a rapist. If she says no, she means no. You need to know the difference between no and no, cause no means like, like stop, but don't stop because I'm, I want you to stop because it feels good, but I don't want you to stop because it feels good, do you know what I mean? But no means yeah, stop because I'm not about that life. Stop. Tip number two, you are not a porn star. What you see in them videos, yeah, are actors. You can't be trying to reenact. No, like I said before, know your abilities, yeah? She may not be flexible, so don't be trying to put her leg, her foot upon shoulder. No, this is not a Vibes Cartel tune, yeah? Usually, <clears throat> in the sexual activities, the man starts off on top, right? So you need to know your weight. Usually, you are heavier than the girl right so don't be just planking on top of her you need to adjust accordingly don't rest on her she's not a leaning post she's a human being this all your all your man sounds need to be i know it's probably hard for you yeah because you're in the zone but you need to you need to turn the volume down a little bit because girls don't actually like that they don't like your man moans they don't like you talking they don't like the heavy rapist breathing N no it's not sexy it's not so you need to try to reduce it 
but you know, I understand it's probably hard, but please leave that. No, she don't like that. Another thing you need to remember is that sex is person specific, yeah? Just because one, the chick you were fucking last week likes it, you to hit it from the back hard and fast doesn't mean the chick that you're fucking next week does, yeah? And even if that chick that did like it hard and rough one week doesn't mean she's going to like it rough tomorrow. You know what I mean? You need to understand, know what she wants from, you know, talk. Th communicate with her prior, you know? One thing also, you need to pace yourself. Don't be just <coughs> straight away, you know? Be, you know... You know what I mean? A little, a little rhythm going on. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> Why am I just car wash, you know? Cool. And try to control your sweat. I don't know whether you need to keep a handkerchief nearby, a t-shirt. I don't, you know, she doesn't really want you, it's, I understand the weather's a bit rainy, but she doesn't want it inside, yeah? So try to keep your sweat reduced now the post sex now i know you guys didn't realize that this is important but it is because this will affect whether she wants to have sex with you again and what she then tells her friends what you need to do is realize that if you are about to come yeah don't be coming to try pull out your things spray it all upon her like um hose pipe no babes remember not a porn star unless she likes that shit and you know this prior to don't do it you know for your best interest I'm, I'm here looking out for you, just don't do it, yeah? What you say after sex is vital, yeah? Asking for food and drinks, don't. And one thing you should not do is try and gas it up afterwards because unless she has told you prior to the sex that you, would, you just did the things, don't assume that you did. Just to help you further, I collected a little survey from all my females on BBM and asking them what they don't like, yeah? So here we go. Number one, they don't like it, yeah? If you're quick, yeah, fair enough, you know, you may be having a bad day, but what you should do is don't be sitting there apologising like, do you know what, yeah, it was a bad day, the wind wasn't right, no. What you should really do is just be like, do you know what, yeah, the pussy was good, you know, couldn't handle the things. Number two, pubic hair. Nobody's asking for you to be bold, but you need to tame it. I don't know whether you need to get a shape up, a fade, some cameras, or whatever you need to do, but, you know, tame it. No, yeah, you don't have to be bold, but some some grooming, maintenance, wouldn't go amiss. Number three, asking for anal. Just don't do it, yeah? Unless she's stated to you that she's about that life, just don't ask. Number four, what you need to do is you need to know your size, yeah? You can't be just trying to ram up the t into the tank. If you know you've got, you know, you're, you're well endowed, know this and behave accordingly. Don't, don't be just trying to force up in there. You might rip something and then it, and this is just not going to be about that life ever. Number five, being circumcised, yeah? It's never too late to get circumcised. Just saying, hashtag. Number six, pulling on hair. Don't do it because white girl, black girl, mixed race, Asian, whether the hair's real or not, just, just don't pull on the hair, yeah? Number seven, staring. Don't stare in their face. The occasional glance to see what their face is saying, it's all right, but staring, you can't be having sex with them and looking at them like this. No, you can't, no. Number eight, if she asks you to do something, do it. Unless it's like against your morals, I don't know, like lick her ass crack and you're not about that life, yeah? Just do it. Number nine, don't give an ongoing report on, as to what going, what's going on. She doesn't need to know what you're doing, just do it. She doesn't need to know what's going on with you, just let it happen. Do you know what I mean? Don't, she doesn't need a news, news feed update, she doesn't. If you still live with your parents, right, and you know your girl makes noise, don't have sex in your house or have sex when they leave because telling her to shh and trying to cover her mouth and shit, she may not like that. She wants to enjoy the moment. So it's best if you just leave it till they go out or find somewhere else, I don't know, book a hotel room. You can wait to have sex. It's not, you know what I mean? You're not going to die without having sex. This is, this is what annoys me about the male species. They act like they are actually going to die if that particular moment they do not ejaculate. Do you know what I mean? You'll be all right, yeah? You'll be fine. Blue balls, myth. Now, this this one, this is the most important thing. If you ignore everything I've said in the video, remember this, yeah? Trying to bust conversation, man moans. Any form of talking should be eradicated. Don't talk to her. She doesn't want to have a conversation. This is not the time. This is not the place, yeah? So why are you trying to... Why are you talking to her? Why are you... No, no. Don't bust conversation. If it's not relevant, don't say it. Fair enough, asking to move positions, fine. 
try you know asking is she okay that's fine once cool any other form of conversation talking leave it somewhere out take it up you know wait till the end it can wait and some soft breathing is okay but none of the rick ross sounds leave it somewhere else leave it she's not about that life and this is me telling you from all the females that i talk to or my bbm or my friends which is a lot of females so just take notes yeah your sex life will be immediately better if you just listen to what i say to you i'm doing you a favor take notes if you have any more questions regarding this topic, I am here to be your friend. Don't be afraid to email me. The email address is vpatv at gmail.com. The um, email address will be in the description bar. Spread the word. This I'm not chatting shit. This is collected data from females. So none of this is a lie. That's the end of the video. If you like this video, thumbs it up. If you loved it, favourite it. If you're a female, share it to your males in your life, all of them. Follow me on Twitter, like the Facebook page, subscribe to the second channel. Don't forget to share and subscribe. It's Veeps and I'm out this bitch. Hey.